Hey there, thanks for joining us. Today on Dream Diva, we're going to be addressing the general topic of sexual elements in your dreams. Okay? So sometimes these are going to be directing or showing issues like shame or areas of abuse, fear of abuse, fear of victimization, fear of being violated or having someone overlord or or abuse you in some way, whether that be mental, spiritually, physically, verbally, whatever, whatever that abuse is, that will show up sometimes in your dreams as a sexual element. Now some of those elements might be as simple as your found kissing someone. It could be someone you know, someone you don't know, it might be someone that's close to you, it might be someone completely unidentified, they don't even have a face. That does happen. Then there are dreams where you are literally making out, others where you're having uh, literal intercourse, others where maybe someone is fondling you or abusing, taking advantage, that would be like taking advantage of you. Uh, without your without your consent. Sometimes erotic positioning, it's going to be the same thing. Um, and often you will have, um, there will be times when you just have repetitive drive for orgasms or you wake with a, an orgasm. You can't control what happened in your dream. Your body did what it did and you have questions about that. So those things are going to be connected to areas in the spirit that are seductions. They're seducing or attempting to seduce a spiritual portion or area aspect of you where your true DNA is, where your God-given DNA and your, um, your rightful uh, destiny or your call is, right? So the enemy opposition is always trying to shut that down so that you can't ever fulfill exactly who you were called to be because if you do then you're going to cause him trouble. So that's why we want to be careful to be listening to these types of dreams.